Hey guys, we're gonna be looking at some confessions again because last time you guys really liked it and you wanted me to do more. So it's gonna be pretty much, I go look at your guys' random confessions about art and things like that related up on my Amino. And so if you guys wanna enter your own confession, you can go send it to me up on Amino. The link will be down in the description and also in the comments. You just go send me a message there and just tell me whatever you want and I will say it on here only I won't say your name. So if you say something you don't want anyone to know about, that's, that's totally fine. Um, also, uh, these aren't my opinions. Just to make that clear, these aren't my opinions. These are like random people's opinions who watched the last video and things like that. So don't think it's mine. All right, let's see. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. These are always like hilarious. And people always say it's spilling the tea or something. I'm like, what, what does that even mean? Okay, here we go. Um, I hate when people ask me, how are you so good at drawing? Because I think it's obvious and I always have to say the same thing. I'm good at drawing because I've been practicing since I was five. Anyways, I love your channel. Oh, thank you. And this, this is very relatable. I think this is relatable for almost any artist because a lot of people say like, oh, you're so lucky or something like that when they see your drawing and stuff like that. But not really because you you practiced a ton. It's like you, anyone who is good at art has practiced years and years and that's why they're so good. But a lot of people think it is like magically, it just appears. And some people are like, oh, well, I didn't magically get good at drawing. So you're obviously lucky because you were, but that's not how it works. It's all about practice. I mean, sure. Some people are more talented, talented, like gifted and stuff like that. And maybe it comes easier to them in like a shorter amount of time, but still they have to practice. Um, next up is my artist confession. I hate most modern art. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is going to get like flame wars. Um, as in they just make a canvas covered in white paint and nothing else. I, as an artist think there's no standard to art anymore. I sort of agree, sort of don't agree with this one. I like, um, I think art is in the eye of the holder. Like some people would say, Oh, your art isn't worth the money you say it is. And stuff like that. But like I said, commissions are based on as if someone wants to buy them and art's in the eye of the beholder and stuff like that, where they can pick if they want it. Well, I see the same thing with modern art. If someone wants that artwork and wants to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on it, <laughs> that's up to them, you know? If that's what they like, that's, that's their thing. But it's just, I guess some people don't like something so simple, but maybe some people like the simple shapes. I don't know. Let's go to the next one. Oh my goodness, this one's long. <laughs> okay, confession. One of my friends always brags about how she has more Instagram followers than me and for a much shorter time. It took me around a year to reach 100 followers while she got like 500 for a week or so. When the only reason she did is because she has the word otaku in her username. And she always denies it when I tell her that and says her art is much better than mine. Which isn't true because she started focusing on art a year after me. Her lines are always uneven and she yells at me when I tell her she has to improve on that. Hmm, this is an interesting one. It sounds like a friend squabble where they're always getting in each other's faces trying to figure out who got the most followers and for why, which is unnecessary because followers don't mean much. Literally, um, unless they're like supportive. If a followers are like real supportive and they're like actually personal with you, then I'm like, oh, they mean a ton. Like you guys, for instance, or like people who always are supportive and there for you. That's what really matters. But mostly Instagram followers and random numbers going up and down. It's, a, it's usually just based on if your picture got out into the system. If your picture got like the right tags on it and it got out into the system, you'll get more random followers rather than growing slowly. And that's usually the reason you would have more followers. It's not based on artwork talent. I know that very much so because my art is nowhere near as good as some other artists on Instagram. And I may have more followers than them, but that doesn't mean I'm a better artist. Not even close. That has nothing to do with it. <laughs> it's literally just because maybe a picture got out into this engine that someone else didn't get that. And that's really just it. And, and I feel like it's very random almost. Next up, an art confession I have is I dislike when people take criticism on their own art as an insult after they asked for it. Oh my goodness, yes, I, I've witnessed this a lot. Someone will ask for criticism and then once they get it, they'll get offended by it. Like they're asking for it just because they want compliments, I guess, but they don't actually want to take the criticism even though they're asking for it. So it's so confusing to me, like why ask for it at that point? you're not getting anywhere. But anyway, make sure you guys comment and tell me your opinions on some of these things because I'm sure you guys have a lot of opinions. Okay, oh my goodness, this one's long too. Let's see. 
Um, I thought I was sexist. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a big one. Okay, I used to put my art, I used to post my art on Tumblr and people there told me that I drew women too pretty and never overweight. They called me sexist. They called me a Nazi. Oh my gosh. I was pretty upset at the time. I had 2,000 followers. I posted a picture of me and my girlfriend and they started bashing me and my girlfriend for some reason. Oh man, that's awful. Next day I found my account deleted. Wow, okay. Made another one, got deleted. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but now Amino took me in with open arms. I decided to draw women how pretty as I want them to be and how thin I want. Almost got 1K followers again. If if got a less extreme confession. I don't know what that means, but um, okay, this one is a lot. Okay, you guys will have to tell me what you think, but what I think is how you draw women does not make you sexist or not. That makes no sense to me at all. I mean, I don't know how that even makes sense. If you draw everyone thin, that you're no in the wrong is if someone drew everyone chubby. It's, there's no difference. You can choose to draw them however you want. That's not sexism. I don't know what that, what, why someone would think that? I, I don't know. I, I, that baffles me. Just because you draw someone skinny. What? If you draw all the men skinny, no one would question it. But I guess, oh gosh, that really baffles me. You guys tell me what you think. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna move on to the next one. I hate it when I make an art piece. A piece of art that is way better than all of the other pieces and people say that the new piece of art is bad and the old one is better. Oh, this is a bad one because I feel like this always hurts an artist and really like stunts their growth because they're like, oh my gosh, I got worse at drawing. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to just quit. But that's not how it is. It's normally a not worse at drawing. It's a change of art style and people have opinions. So like when someone posts like, a, this is my old art, this is my new art. If you changed art styles in between there, which normally everyone does, at least slightly, someone is gonna have an opinion where like the old art style was better to them than the new one. But that's just opinion on art styles. It's nothing to do with your talent and how good you are at drawing. It's just art style stuff. And everyone's gonna have different opinions. That's the only reason. So don't let it get you down, even though I know that can be so, such a bummer when you hear things like that. I have a confession. So I hate it when um, someone posts an art, a, a picture of their art, sorry, and writes a caption like, I hate this or this looks really bad because it makes me feel like they're just fishing for compliments by publicly putting themselves down. Hell, oh, this is a popular one. I feel like this one happens so often. Everyone mentions this one. I think you, a lot of you guys mentioned it in the last video too because a lot of people just post their art and they say bad things about it. Like they say, I hate my art, stuff like that, just to get compliments. And then if someone actually were to agree with them, they would be so upset because they don't really think their art is that bad. They're just saying that just because they want someone to say th they're wrong, you know? They want someone to tell them their art is good so they'll diss their own art, if that makes sense. And I understand where you feel like you want someone to see your artwork and you want to get like some feedback on it that's positive, but the, it's not the way to go about it to diss yourself to try and get that feedback. The best way to go about it is just show people who work and if they like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. You like don't have a good compliment or not having compliment change whether or not you're going to continue artwork or something like that because people get so downed if they don't get any compliments. And we are out of time almost, so we can't go on to the next one, but there are so many more. I have gotten so many of these confessions that I really wanna read because they're like, I don't know, it's like almost like I'm getting into gossip or something and that's not good. <laughs> that's not good for me, okay? But I, I'm excited to read some more of them that I have. And this, if you wanna send one, like I said, just write me up on Amino, send your confession. It could be art related, stuff like that. And I'm so excited to see what you guys said and also see what your opinions are because I feel like a lot of these things, I don't even know what to say because I don't really have an opinion one way or the other and I'm just so confused by it. So I'm excited to see what you guys think of these things, especially some of these were um, pretty intense for once. But anyway, like I said, just make sure to post your um, confessions up on my Mino and send me a private message. Don't comment it publicly because that kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> it's supposed to be private. And again, thank you guys so much for watching.